Hi, everybody. Good evening. How are you doing today? Hello. Hello. Hey, guys. How are you? I'm tired. How is your Friday going? You're Hello, tired? Everybody. Hello. Good evening. So, how is your Friday going? Is everything fine? Everything all right? Why can't you tell me about your Friday? Did you have a good Friday, a bad Friday? Allow me one second. Can you see my camera? Okay, bear with me just a second. Un segundito that for some reason my camera is not letting me activate it. Okay, guys, but you know, it's a pleasure to be with you today, Friday. Uh, today we have like a lot of activities to do. Uh, we are going to work a lot with vocabulary. We are going to be checking um, some important things about simple past. El tema que comenzamos el día de ayer, so it's gonna be like super productive, you know, as yesterday. Espero que están teniendo un super buen eh, Friday. Allow me just a second. Vamos, como siempre lo hacemos, a iniciar con con nuestra attendance. But bear with me. Espérame un segundo. Hold on just a second. Okay, so there we go. There we go. So let me just make sure I can hear everybody. Okay, I guess there we go. Okay, everybody, so thanks a lot for joining. Eh, please let me know si me escuchan, si me estoy quebrando, if I'm breaking, no me escuchan super, super fine. Está bien, teacher. Amazing, amazing. Okay, thank you very much. So let me start getting attendance. I have Ana Delmi. Ana, Ana, está por acá. Eh, Brenda. Por ahí vi a Brenda. So Hello, thank teacher. you, Miss. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, Brian. Brian, are you around? Maybe not yet. Okay. Uh, Jasmine. Celia Jasmine. Okay, uh, Danny, Anthony? Danny? Sí, 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 pero... Era ahí que está... Que no se puede conectar. Oh, sí, teacher, okay. pero, pero voy manejando un... Solo me detuve un momento. Este, voy manejando un para mi casa. Pero sí, no voy se escuchando. preocupe. Ya, yeah, puede eh, apagar la camarita un momento. Si se siente más cómoda, that's fine. Thanks okay. a lot. Okay, thank you very much. Gracias. All right, so también veo por ahí, uh, oh, okay, so Celia is coming. So Yasmin is on the way. Eh, Danis, Danis está por acá. No yet. Eh, Daisy Carolina, Daisy Lorena, perdón, Daisy Lorena. I don't see her. Eh, Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you, Giovanni. Natalie. Hello, Miss. I'm glad to hear you. I'm glad you're here. Ingrid Magali. Present teacher, pero voy en el bus ahorita todavía. No se preocupe, Miss. No worries. Thank you so much. Same thing. Si se siente más cómodo, apagar la camarita just a minute. And para que también el teléfono llegue a salvo, you know. 
give me one second here. Um, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Hello. Jocelyn. Present teacher. Hello, Jocelyn. Thank you. Hello. Not Roberto. Not Bert. Where are you? Hello, present Hello teacher. there. Teacher, I'm here. Hi, Ignacio. Good evening. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Okay, glad to hear you. Hey, we missed you yesterday. Es cierto, we missed you yesterday. Uh, Claribel. Claribel, Claribel. I don't see her yet. Moises. Hello, hello, Miss. Oh, hello, Miss. Good evening. Hello. Thank you. Good evening. Moses. Thank you, Moses. Pedrina. I saw Pedrina super early there. Teacher. Thank you, Pedrina. Good Danny. Evening. Hello. Good evening. Yes, nice, nice. Respondido. Creería que es. Antonio siempre está escondido, teacher. No, quizás ahora tiene un par de dificultades with the internet. That's very common. But but there he is. No worries. Okay. Hey Danny, hey Danny, ever on the dark. <laughs> He's the, the the dark boy. Okay, Rene, Rene, Rene. Ricardo. Hello, Ricardo hello. También. Hi there, good evening. Aquí eh, Sandra Vigail. Sandra. Thank you, me. Super early. Thank you very much. Sandra Elizabeth, por ahí también vi la camarita. I saw you some teacher. seconds ago. Thank you, me. Eh, Ana Yancy. Yet, Ángel, uh, Carlos Bautista, Carlos, Guadalupe, 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 por ahí está. Present. Thank you, Miss, for the confirmation. Ignacio también ya lo escuchamos, so thank you very much. And Marvin. Okay, so my thing is not there. Okay, okay. So thanks everybody uh, for your nice attendance. Gracias por siempre estar comprometidos, you know, with your learning process. Y que estamos, you know, here ready for getting our classes. So let me present my screen so we can get started. And uh, today we have session number nine. Casi terminamos la semana número dos, you know. And it has been super quick. So, vamos a revisar un poquito simple past. Vamos a revisar again questions, regular verbs, la pronunciación de regular verbs. Teníamos una tarea para ahora. So, um, estoy contando, I'm counting, eh, que todos entregaron su audio, you know, que practicaron un poquito hablando de lo que hicieron ayer, right? Era un, un audio súper cortito. Eh, so, nadie me lo envió en privado, así que imagine that everybody is like super ready on this. Ok. Uh, and we have also vocabulary practice. Now, to get us started, I have some questions for you that we are going to discuss. Okay, so I want your full participation on these. Question number one says, what did you do today morning? Guys, ¿qué hicieron por la mañana? So what did you do today morning? Something important that you did? What did you do? Uh, I got um, very early. You got up early. Okay. In my case, I got up later. Right? So today was like, you know, a big mess. Okay. <laughs> what about the rest? What did you do? Okay, Sierra. What did you eat? What did you drink? Did you go to work? Did you stay at home? Tell work me about your day. Mm -hmm. You worked. Okay. Work. So you worked today. I okay. Did. Moses? I'm working all day. Okay, so you worked all day. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. What about two? Did you have dinner today? Yes, and Aaron, did you have dinner? Yes, Miss. Yes, teacher. Yes, you had I dinner? Did. Yes, I nice. did. No, no, I yet? didn't. Not yet? Okay. I didn't. You didn't. Yeah, me neither. No. I didn't. What did you eat I for didn't. dinner? What did you eat? ¿Qué comieron? What did you eat for dinner? 
and chicken. I eat salads. You ate a salad? Yes, teacher. Teacher. Oh my God, super yeah, healthy. I'm, I'm yeah. Teacher. Con razón es curva. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. Ignacio, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yes, I am eat uh, beans, cheese, and chicken. Wow, that sounds delicious. delicious. Okay, so you ate some chicken for dinner. Wow, okay, I'm hungry now. <laughs> okay, what about the rest? What did you eat? What did you have for dinner? I didn't have dinner yet. Okay, so after classes maybe. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And, no, but I mean, it, it's okay. It's okay. Supposedly I'm on a diet. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. What about this one? Did you listen to music today? Did you listen to any type of music? Yes, teacher. I, yes? I listened to music of 70s. Of the 70s. In Spanish or in English? Yeah. In English. In English. Okay. What about the rest? What type of music did you listen to? No, I didn't. You didn't listen to music? No. Okay. What about the rest? What type of music did you listen to? Well, for example, uh, Ingrid, she wasn't at the bus and she was listening to some reggaeton, I think. So, and that's okay. I mean, we listen to different type of music. Okay. Um, we have the following question. Okay. Like, for example, did you arrive home early today, right? So, quienes ya están yendo a oficina, did you arrive home early? Yes, I did. Okay, so you got to your home early. All right. What about the rest? Ana Delmi, did you arrive home early? Yes. Okay, what time? What time did you arrive? Uh, at 6 o'clock. Okay, okay, so that was kind of early. Uh, what about the next one? Did you stay up late yesterday? Stay up late is desvelarse, okay? Quedarse hasta muy tarde. Did you stay up late yesterday? Who stayed up late? ¿Quién se desveló? Good evening. Hello, Yancy, good evening. Thanks for joining. Andaba en otra clase. How come? Okay, but I'm, but I'm glad you're here. No worries. I'm happy you're here. Okay. Guys, ¿quién se desveló anoche? Who stayed up late yesterday? Yes, I did. Uh, I play in video games. Okay, play in video games. What time did you go to bed? What time? What time At, did you go to bed? At, uh, 11 and a half. Okay, 11, 11 and a half. All right. Natalie, what about you? Did you stay up late yesterday? Yes. Yes, yesterday. I, I stayed at late, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Oh, what time? Oh, oh, I, oh I was. ¿Cómo se No, um, you can say yes, yes, I did, or yes, oh. I stayed up late. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes. What teacher, time? Teacher, teacher, yes, I did. Yes, I did in, in my... My work. Okay, so you were working. In, in, in Nuevo Tepetitán, San Vicente. Oh, I understand. Okay. Okay, wow, that sounds kind of hard. Guys, what about the, the next one? Uh, did you have a good day today? Did you have a good day? Yes, I did. Yes, yes I have I a good day. You had a good day, okay. Yes. Anybody could say no? Who had a bad day? Okay, I guess nobody. All right, sounds good. And the last one, did you play any cell phone games? Do you play cell phone games? Do you like playing on your cell phone? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. I didn't. No, 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 I didn't. No, I didn't. Nobody? Don't have time. I, didn't. I don't have time. You don't no, have time. I don't have don't time. Like. Don't like. Oh, oh, you don't like it. Okay. Anybody? Alguien que se juegue? Does anybody uh, play cell phone games? Yes, yes I did, teacher. Danny, what do, what do you play? Yes, what games yes, do you play? Yes. Uh, 
for, for the moment is Free Fire and Call of Duty. Okay, okay, that's all right. Uh, alguien más dijo yes, yeah. but I couldn't identify the voice. Yo. <laughs> yeah, tell uh, me. What do you play? Uh, Clash of Clans, Clash Royale. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that sounds okay. I don't play video games, I mean, cell phone games or video games. Because, as Ignacio said, you know, me consumía mucho tiempo. It took like a lot of time. But it's fine. It's Do, good. Two, two partidos, teacher. Do partidos y a dormir. Los partidos. Okay. Hey, Denise, good evening. Thanks for joining. Sorry, maybe I'm muted out here. I was Hi, married. good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, let me see, ¿qué más entró? Well, Ana Yancy is with us right now. I see Daisy. Hello, da Daisy. Thanks a lot for joining. I'm super glad to see you here. Hello, thank you. Hello, Miss. Gracias. Thanks. Thank you. All right. So, vamos a revisar un poquito like, the meaning of some words y luego hacemos una revisión de simple past, all right? So, here we have what is the meaning of these words, okay? And especially, ¿cómo las podemos utilizar? All right? Um, I'm going to give you like a couple of minutes and I want you to write an example. Solo quiero que me ayuden con una oración. Help me with a sentence por cada uno de ellos donde podamos es, utilizar the words correctly. We have industry, we have staff, networking, branch, guest, okay, headquarters, ya lo vimos anteriormente, a small talk, all right, como la primera interacción, the first interaction, o cualquier tema que, del que tengo que hablar. Then we have manufacturing, we have the word personnel, que veíamos también, se refiere al miembros de un, eh, like from the company, and we have also the word expertise. What do you think the meaning of expertise is? Any idea? In Spanish, ¿a qué palabra se parece? What is a word similar to expertise? Experto. Ex experience. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Experience. So ex expertise is very related to experiencia. So es como el área de... El área más fuerte, you know? El área de experiencia, digamos. Eh, talking about a company. Or talking about you, ustedes también tienen un área de ex expertise. Um, mm -hmm. So, for example, I know that Brenda is a manager, so her expertise is in management. I understand that Danny is also uh, has some experience in management. I know that um, Jancy has expertise in tourism, right? So that's super good. So expertise es como el área, el área donde tenemos, you know, more skills or abilities. So, um, I'm going to ask you que solamente escribamos un ejemplo, write an example, write a sentence, utilizando esas palabras. Si alguna es nueva, especially that word, si ya conocen todas, entonces, you know, enfoquémonos en las que no se recordaban. So, focus on the words que son más nuevas para ustedes. All right? Les voy a dar cinco minutitos. I'll give you five minutes to write your example. Lo pueden compartir en, el, in the chat and I will be, you know, paying attention to them. Siempre en pasado. Eh, no necessarily. Ahorita no, no necessarily. Pero si pueden, that would be amazing. Muchísimo mejor para que practiquemos, right? But it's not necessary. What is the meaning of the word? Of these words? Uh, which one? <clears throat> Uh, I work uh, in the industry of food. I work in the industry of food, exactly. Veíamos anteriormente like food industry, we saw finance industry. Finance industry. Mm -hmm. The class, we already checked the word industry, yes. Uh, so, teacher, uh, ¿qué significa? ¿Cómo, cómo se dice? What is the meaning? I'm going to write it in the chat. So, tenemos estas dos palabras. What is the meaning of? What is the meaning of? 
and how do you say, como se dice in English. So we have these two words, para que las atesoremos por ahí, las dejamos guardadas. How do you say in English? What is the meaning of guess, Richa? What is the meaning of? What is the meaning of guess? Uh, mm -hmm. Exactly. So the meaning of guess is, okay, when you go to a hotel and you pay, you are a guest. When people visit your house, they are guests. Or when you, if you go, for example, imagine that you visit uh, Pedrina's house. So you are Pedrina's guest. Invitado. Okay. Yes, exactly. So you are the guest. Ah, okay. Teacher, perdón, eh, hay que hacer una oración con cualquiera de estas palabras o con cada una de las palabras. Well, the initial idea era hacerla con cada una, pero si ya conocen las palabras, vamos a enfocarnos en aquellas que son totalmente nuevas, you know, o en las que no se recordan. So, si pueden hacerla con todas, that is amazing. Si no, solamente con las, con las nuevas, with the new words. Y luego le tomamos captura y se la mandamos. Lo podemos escribir en el chat. You can write it in the chat. I think that's easy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Danny. You had something to say for me? Ma. Uh, Come area, my area, area, area. My, my area. Pero uh, se escribe igual. Mm -hmm. My area. My, my area expertise is accounting. Accounting. My area of is expertise. Expertise, uh -huh. is. Mm -hmm. is. My area accounting. of expertise is accounting or finance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sir, que dijo que era guest. Guests. Yes. Oh, this one. Guest is como su invitado, you know, your guest. Yes. Or yes. Su yes. If we are talking yes. about a, um, a hotel, for example, si es un, un guest. Pero okay. también puede ser in general como un invitado, a person you invite over. Mis, mis hijos no les puedo decir guest. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It could be. Okay. Just having a small talk is with. Teacher, uh, my staff is very unit. It's correct. My staff is very unit. Como unidos o o sería. 
you can say like my staff has a good relationship or my staff is close-knit. Le voy a escribir la palabra, I'm gonna write it down. You can say my okay. staff is close-knit or my staff has a good relationship. Has a good relationship. Relationship. Uh -huh. Oops, sorry. I made a oh I made a mistake with the word. Okay, give me one second. Relationship. Okay. You can use these two words. Cualquiera de ellos. Like my staff is close knit or my staff has a good relationship. Okay. Then Teacher is correct, my. Yeah, give me one second. I'm checking the ones that we have in the in the chat. Let me let me take a look at them. Yes, Ignacio, that's okay. I guess you refer to, I'm sure that my expertise is for all the time doing the same work, okay? Like the experience you have, I believe, okay? Yes. There is one restaurant near the area. In my work, have a small talk every Friday. Mm -hmm, that's okay. Close the headquarters that was in the center, okay? Okay. Um, Sandra, that's, that's a good one. Quizás solamente agreguémosle eh, al inicio como el sujeto, ¿verdad? ¿Quién lo cerró? I closed, they closed, the company closed. Solo eso, agreguémosle un poquito al inicio. Lo demás, very nice. I have expertise in KPI creator. Ok, sounds good, sounds good. Two more minutes. Okay, so uh, I'm checking your examples y a través del chat de forma privada les estoy enviando si hay alguna corrección, you know, or anything to double check there. But in general, pero that's very una, nice. Pero no le, no le puse la apostrofe porque no sé dónde está la computadora. <laughs> uh, my father's, my father's industry? Yes, yes. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, exactly, my father apostrophe, yes. Okay, very nice, no, but that's fine. Um, I don't know if that works. But a la par del enter, hay como una especie de apostrofe. So maybe that can work for you. La par, ah, pues que la pongo, pero solo me sale el punto y coma. Ah, ok. Eh, probablemente lo tenga en español, right? So, su teclado es en español. Yes. Ah, ok, that's why. También lo puede cambiar en inglés, si you feel so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, también eh, donde está inglés, en, en la parte de abajo de su menú, lo puede cambiar ahí solo a, a you know, English, para hacerlo más fácil. Okay. Solo le da clic. Ajá, uh -huh, you just click on it. 
the guests that have afternoon meeting. Oh, that's good. Very nice of them. Okay. The make of room belong to the area manufacturer. The make. The make. Maybe the, the creation oh, sí, or the production, Dennis. Ah, oh, okay. Nice. Dennis, no sé si era como la producción de brooms. The production yes. of brooms belong yes. to the area ah, manufacturer. Ah, the production, yes. Yeah, it sounds more like and that. The make. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I have a small talk with my daughter. Oh, I like that example. Okay, that's a good example how to use a small talk. Okay. Yeah, so they are having a small talk. All right. I played soccer in the team as a guest. Oh, okay. Okay, sounds good. I am in English class every night. Oh, okay. Okay. So th remember, try to use these words. The idea is to, to practice this vocabulary too, para que lo vayamos integrando, right? So we can integrate them little by little. I think we're super good with this, okay? So in the meantime, let's move on. Vamos a usar estas palabras later. So just let me make sure I check everybody's. Uh, Ignacio, I'm reading your example. Sairisa has the headquarters in El Salvador and three branches, first in Guatemala, second Costa Rica, and third in Panama. Very nice. Very good description. Sounds super good. Uh, solamente con Sairisa, cambiémosle en vez de have, has. Y lo demás, perfect. That sounds very cool. Sandra says the clothing company just made a new product. Very good, Sandra. Very Teacher, nice. I have a question. Danny, I, and, and has. Lo pronuncie como, como tenía o como tiene. tiene es, ten, es tener, yes, pero remember that terceras personas, eh, she has, ella tiene. Ah, Solo es tiene. por, por okay. terceras personas. Por yeah. tercera, por, ok. Correct, that's correct. The guest has arrived soon. Yes, Ricardo, that sounds good. I have a small talk in the morning. Ok, that's ok. Uh, yes, Jasmine. And then they're working on my how office is very slow. Okay. Okay, everybody. That sounds super nice. Thanks a lot for your help and participation. They sound like very good examples. Ya los vamos a, a utilizar. Así que por ahí tengan los en cuenta, you know. And in the meantime, let's move on with the activity we have right here. So it says the objective for today says engage in a small talk using a variety of topics. What does it mean? Well, I don't know. A small talk? Okay, what do you understand by a small talk? ¿Qué entienden por la palabra a small talk? What is this? Habla poco o... Oh, mm. Charla. Una charla. Habla. Hab charla. Plática. Pequeña, pequeña plática. Okay, okay. So una plática, Conversation. right? Conversation. A conversation, okay. A small talk es como una plática espontánea, all right? A topic, mm -hmm. tengo un tema, whatever topic, and a small talk significa que voy a hablar de lo que sea, any topic that comes to mind, okay? Do you consider a good conversationalist, okay? Guys, se consideran que son buenos conversadores, that you can speak about any topic? In Pueden Spanish, hablar de lo que sí. sea. Yeah, yes. <laughs> in yes. English, yeah. no, but in Spanish. <laughs> no, 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 English. Okay, okay, Spanish. In English, let's talk about it. In it. In oh, come on, just a little. Okay, in let's Spanish, talk about it. In Spanish, no lo detienen. So, in Spanish, are you a good conversationalist? <laughs> so, si pueden yes. hablar de anything? Yes? Yes, yes. 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 Okay. okay, what about in English? So the idea is, no necesito mucho vocabulario, no necesito like a lot of different things, sino solamente with the little I know, intentar expresar una idea, right? To say, si están de acuerdo, están en desacuerdo, or what is your opinion? That is a small talk. So, super interesting. Okay, vamos a intentar tener una small talk de cualquier tema today. So, here we have, choose three good topics for a small talk. Okay, and some topics that you consider inappropriate also. Okay, read these topics. Can you tell me three topics de los que consideran son interesantes? The ones that you can talk about. Politic. 
Okay, so politics, all right. Well, I would say, okay, okay. Let's continue, let's continue. So Travel. politics. Location. Travel. Location. Travel. 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 Okay, and travel, all right. Now, travel. tell me tell me topics that you consider inappropriate. ¿Cuál es, ¿Qué es algo de lo que no deberíamos? No está bien que hablemos. Money. 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 <laughs> okay, we will, we will cry. Okay, religion. <laughs> religion. <laughs> Money. Daisy? Teacher. Teacher, I think Poli the, it's not good. Poli uh, politic. Politic. Okay. Politic okay. is not good. Politic. Politic is not good. No, oh, for okay. politic, maybe the my friend is... Uh, from, from a different, voy a escribirlo en el chat, I'm going to write it down. So, COVID, Carlos says, okay, oh, okay. Um, hold on, give me one second. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Political party. So, political party son partidos políticos, okay? So, yes, Ignacio, maybe you belong to one political party, I belong to another. And we will start, you know, crashing here. So, okay, it can be a hard topic to talk about. But anyways, anyways, vamos a practicar, vamos a ver si funciona, you know, how much we can talk about this. So, lo único que les voy a pedir, the only thing I will be asking. Yo, teacher, no escucho. Okay, okay, me está muteando por alguna razón, okay. So, the, vamos a intentar, we are going to try to have a small talk, okay? Then su opinión de whatever topic comes. Si no lo pueden decir en, en inglés, intenten, give it a try. Si hay una, una palabra que no saben cómo decirla, díganle en español, you know, pero continúen, all right? Or pídanle ayuda al compañero. You know what, quiero decir esto, but no encuentro cómo hacerlo. So, help each other para poder tener esta small talk. I will give you. Teacher. I'll, yes, Danis. Uh, the two topic and topic politic. Okay, I will actually, uh, actually, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. We will do the following. Uh, vamos, voy a enviarlos a grupos. I'm going to send you to some groups para que ustedes escojan cualquier tema. You can choose any topic. Y tener una conversación así cortita, you know, 30 seconds conversation, y luego cambian de tema. When we come back, vamos a hacerlo al azar. We will do it at random para intentar tener una small talk, all right? No, no, so, no, yo, yo, yo me refería a políticas del trabajo, no oh, para ir, policies. Para ir Yes. Oh, okay. You mean policies. Got it. Got it. Okay. Mm, yeah, maybe policies, right? Oh, Pero okay. algunas empresas tienen también como cuestiones de confidencialidad. So it can yes. become a little difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, give me just a second here. Okay. Let me, un segundito. Give me just a second. Okay, let me see. Ah, okay, I can make them now. Okay, very nice. So I'm going to, okay. I'm going to make some groups. And again, les voy a pedir que intenten participar tanto como pueden, as much as possible. Give your opinion, talk, you know, everything you can sobre estos temas. Pueden seleccionar uno, pueden seleccionar dos. You can select as many as possible y tener una conversación cortita, super short. Give your opinion, you know, and then we come back y lo hacemos at random. So, tienen 10 minutitos. You have 10 minutes to make a super small talk. So, let's get going. Let's go, let's go. Teacher, soy Celia, Jasmine. Quería hacerle una pregunta. 
Dígame, Yasmin. Es que no, no me... Yo ayer, usted dijo que pues, pegáramos el, el audio del Google Drive. Yes. Solo si me indica en qué parte, porque estoy revisando y no encuentro dónde lo tengo que pegar de la uh, plataforma. Sure. ¿Logra ver la tarea? Eh, uh, la tarea en el... Por ejemplo, ahorita ya hice la de... La tarea de, del día, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿Logra, ¿Logra ver a dónde está la instrucción? No. No. Ah, ok, ok. Permítame entonces. Ok. Ahorita está en la plataforma, right? Sí. Bye. Perfecto. Deme un segundito acá. Le muestro mi pantalla. I'm going to okay. show my screen. Solo déjenme cargarlo. Let me just get it up. Get it here. Ok. So, si logra ver mi pantalla, ahorita se la comparto. Let me share it with you. Ok. Usted ve más o menos esto. Ya, yeah? you sí, see something like this. Ok. El, a mí me aparece la segunda discusión. ¿Logra ver discusión? ¿Qué yo sí Sí. Ok. Le da clic. Ajá. Uh -huh. And you will have. Y le va a aparecer algo así. Ya. Yeah? Sí, you will have eso something. Es. Ok. Ahora, dele clic en todos los temas. Click on all the topics. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Y dice Unit 1, que fue la primera sí. tarea. And Unit 2, Speaking. ¿Logra ver esto? Sí. Perfecto. Le va a dar clic acá. So you will click on this one. Y acá donde uh -huh. dice Añade respuesta, usted va a añadir la suya. Por ejemplo, oh. aquí ya está la de Ana. Eh, ya está la de Jackie. Y solo ellos. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pero ya está. Ok. This is the one. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher, muchas gracias. You're welcome. You. Cualquier cosa, let me know, me avisa. Ok, that's fine. Hello, Elizabeth. Hola, teacher. Hola, Miss. La que quiero el internet, I believe. So, sí, ahorita sí. les pido la invitación. I'm going to send you the invitation. Bye. That's ok. Ok, ok, gracias.
Thank you guys for coming back. So thanks a lot for being there. How was your small talk? Was it good? Pudieron practicar un poquito? Did you practice? Did you talk to your guys? Hi guys. So thanks a lot for coming back. Thank you. El que se le murió a Pedrina. What happened? <laughs> All right, so I you hope, phone? I hope no? yeah, I, I hope it was the phone or something. Okay. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot for coming back. Uh, let me see. Creo que escuché la voz de Ingrid. Hey Ingrid, you're back. Nice. Okay, no, yo le digo que quizás se le murió el, el teléfono, pero no escucha que escuchamos, no sé. Yeah, no, pero... Oh, she creería que la sacó. So, I think, yeah, it was probably her computer. Se le murió. Yeah, yeah, so it passed se away. le murió. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, so vamos a practicar un poquito small talk, all right? So remember, es solamente dar mi opinión de esto o responder la pregunta, whatever you find. So, es como, I have any topic y voy a hablar lo que sea. I'm going to speak about it, whatever I can. No, I'm coming. Eh, Dani, le voy a apagar el micrófono un momentito, just in case, you know. <laughs> Creo que lo dejo abierto por ahí. So, uh, we were having these topics, right, for a small talk. And we have, for example, location, we have company politics, a common event, travel, money, bosses, likes, etc. Como es algo random, okay. So, vamos a hablar de lo que sea. We are going to talk about anything. To get started, um, we are going to take this one. We are going to start with politics, okay. Again, if you consider that the topics are inappropriate, Solo den su opinión, you know, why it is not preppy or what's going on, and that's it. Um, I'm going to have two, so no sé si, two volunteers. ¿Alguien quiere dar su opinión about this topic? Or I can choose some victims. Any volunteer? Okay, so it's okay. I can take I, it. I teach you. Okay, thank you, Ricardo. <laughs> okay, Ricardo, I will let you choose your partner. Voy a dejar que escoja a su I compañero. I let you antes choose. De, antes de que me diga, lo hago mejor. Antes de ser víctima, you prefer to be volunteer. Yes, yes. Nice, Yo nice. solito, yo solito voy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, but Bye. that's the attitude. But that's amazing. Yes. Because Bye. it gives you the opportunity to practice. So, ¿con quién? Select a partner. Selección ah, compañero. A mi compañero de fórmula. Quiero okay. ver dónde está, dónde está. El compañero que se hizo, compañero. Who was your partner, Danny? Sí, estamos platicando, tenemos una gran conversación. Uh, I think in your group you had Anna, you had Miriam uh, and Jancy. No sé quién era el otro, la otra persona no me parece. Was it Danny? Danny. Danny, Danny, Danny. Oh, okay, okay. Danny. Ya no había más. Compañero, ¿qué se hizo? Está, está buscando la pregunta que nos quería hacer. El compañero se fue. Dani. Aquí estoy. No, lo acabo de decir. Ya, ah. No, es que se me había acabado el internet, ya me están regalando ahorita. Ah, vaya, compañero. Thank Mire, you. Dice Gracias la ticha, por conectarse. Dice la ticha que teníamos que platicar aquí, así que sí, yo le coge a usted, sí. compañero. Ok. Uh, uh, oh, this goes uh, with my partner is the travel. Do your travel is the Trunco Beach uh, for the tourists. Um, uh, very good, but uh, Miss Miss come sí. Miss Anna. <laughs> Um, and the word, uh, I am word, travel, no, not, not, no, no travel, uh, uh, yes, uh, money, money, money. Uh, I, I go in group level, 
uh, for uh, more money, uh, a little, um, a little money. Um, uh, and and you do you work for money or experience? Ah, uh, experience. Ah, uh, experience. Okay, uh, nice. work. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Danny. Money. Nice. No. Yeah, Danny. Okay. Okay. I, I think I think Danny wanted to say something else, but I couldn't hear that. So creo que se quedó con la parte de money. Okay, if you get the idea, let me know, Danny. That was very nice. That was a good small talk. Okay, uh, and I'm glad, you know, so no tuvieron problemas con la parte de money. Even it is a little sensitive. So very nice. Thank you so much. Okay, let me choose another person. Okay. And, uh, no, I will let you choose. Ricardo, dígame el número del 1 al 22, please. Give me a number. The one, mm, eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Jasmine, you are the chosen one. Thank you, Jasmine. Yes. Jasmine, uh, I will let you select. So, voy a dejar que escoja a su compañero who you want to talk to y de qué tema quieren hablar. What topic you want to speak about? Jose. Jose. Hello. Ah, Norberto, ok. Yes. <laughs> ah, bueno, José. No, bien, compañero. Ok. Ok, nice. Empiezo yo, ¿verdad? ¿Quién es José? <laughs> yes, but... Uh... The topic is a uh, little talk about work. Hola, yo soy. Hola, yo soy. Jasmine? Keep going. Um, Jasmine. Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine. Se fue. Yeah, se le cayó el internet. Okay. Sorry, Norbert. You know. Yeah, probablemente se le, se le haya caído el internet. Okay. Sí, sí, porque de presto se quedó. Yeah. Yeah, she left. Okay, so no worries. We are going to continue, you know, in a couple of seconds. Mientras tanto, you can continue practicing. Norbert, dígame un número del uno al... I think she's back. Yeah, no bird. Uh, Jasmine, are you back? Yes, the chef se me desconectó. Okay, nice. You're back. Okay, don't worry. So Norbert was very sad porque si quería participar, you know, so he was like worried. <laughs> okay, so see, see, yes, Alisa, if you are ready, so we can have it. Hello, teacher. Ingrid, I'm glad you're back. Gracias por unirse. No sé qué me pone. Next. No, no sé si es mi <laughs> No worries. Sí, yes, Alisa. Okay, perfect. perfect. Jose. Empiezo entonces. Yes, yes. Let's go. But yeah. the never... I think she's having some problems. So no, but she's there. Uh, Jasmine no se escucha. Can you listen to us? Sí, tengo problemas con el Miss, si, si gusta, intentemos apagar su cámara un momentito. Probemos con la cámara apagada. Okay. Empiezo nuevamente. Excuse okay. me, where is the reception? Yeah. 
Okay, uh, the room in the second door. Thanks you. I had withdrawn the check. Uh, excuse me, repeat. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's breaking a little bit. Uh, yeah, but but that's totally fine. Creo que algo, yeah, Ingrid también dice que escucha cortados. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's the internet. Uh, Ingrid, si gusta apagar la cámara just a little bit, probemos con la cámara off, and, and then you let me know, you know, what's going on there. Okay, guys, let's move on, okay? Let's move on. We will continue with this in some seconds. But in the meantime, vamos a revisar a little bit something here. It says we are going to review vocabulary. Al inicio les presenté oh, este vocabulary. Are you good with puzzles? ¿Les gustan los puzzles? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. okay, cool, cool, cool. So this is in your material. And this one says, find the 10 words from the box below in the word search. All right. So vamos a encontrar las palabras. We are going to find what are the missing words. Lo tienen en la página, give me one second, I'll let you know. This is page number 27. 27. Yeah, thank you so much. So if you go to page number 27, porque es un poco más fácil, that's a little bit easier, you know. And you have exactly this in your material, okay. And the, the only thing that you got to do is van a seleccionar a donde está la palabra, where is the word. Eso es todo, that's it, okay. So you have to select the word. Um, we are going to do it. Vamos a hacerlo en grupo, you know, para que se puedan ayudar y sea un poco más rápido. And uh, so I will give you only five minutes for that. Así que give me one second. One. Okay, there you go. Tenemos cinco minutitos. Si uno tiene, encuentra una, you know, les ayudan and then we move on with the rest. All right. So five minutes, guys. Let's get going.
Hey guys, uh, let's just wait a couple of minutes here while everybody is back. But I'm impressed, so you're really good at this. <laughs> so, realmente son muy buenos con los puzzles. You did it super fast. Oh, so that, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, what? Did you finish? Okay. Okay. So you're good other at three. it. Other three. Other <laughs> three. <laughs> okay. Algo más retador, right? Something more challenging. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, but I'm glad you did it super fast. Hey, guys. Okay. So thanks for coming back. Vamos a esperar un ratito. Hi, Rene. Ahora sí, Eloy. I saw you now. Are you home? Are you yes. working? You're mute, Rene. <laughs> You're mute. Maybe. Guys. I am working now. Oh, are you working? Perdón que venía manejando, pero ya estoy en casa. Ah, okay. No, no worries, no worries. Gracias por ahí. Estuve en silencio por un momento. Yeah. No, but you were listening, so that's important as well, no problem. Okay. So, René, espero que llegue rápido a su casa as well. I hope you get home safe and sound. Hopefully you will. All right. Uh, so, guys, thanks a lot for coming back. Eh, algunos grupos, you know, todavía estaban trabajando en this, eh, but I checked that some were done. Terminaron bien rápido. Eh, so, Carlos, si, if you can help me, please, present your screen. That would be super nice para que también los compañeros puedan comparar what they have or si les falta todavía alguna they can double check this a little bit. So, um, so here Carlos is sharing his screen nicely. Uh, you have personal on top, right? You have manufacturer all the way down and uh, as well as networking right here. So he has also a branches right here, like in the middle, expertise as well. Um, so he has stuff here, like from the left to the right, well, from the right to the left, right? Also, I see guest, la palabra que estábamos revisando, yes, like guest here. Um, he has industry right here in this part a small talk so we were talking about a small talk today and the last one that is right here uh that is the headquarter right and pretty much those are the same words that we have todos las encontraron did everybody find them other miss other miss <laughs> you want another puzzle? No, right now it's the opportunity to practice. Rene, can you do me a favor? Can you move your camera up? I think I saw the moon, right? So no ha salido, I haven't gone out. <laughs> okay, creo que se veía la luna. Do we have full moon? Hay luna llena ahorita? Because I saw it, I saw it for for un segundito and that was like wow that looks super cool for okay me. guys yeah so i will go out after we finish classes i will go in and appreciate the moon okay tenemos una última actividad this is a speaking practice we have create a simple past conversation with your classmate and present it vamos a involucrar un par de vocabulario un par de palabritas que acabamos de ver como staff personal manufacturing algo que puedan agregar dentro de su conversación and you can include questions like, el día de ayer vimos un poquito de simple past, so today vamos a intentar incluirla, you know, and practice more. Eh, question one says, what did you do yesterday? Or what did you do on Monday? What did you do last year? Pueden ser bien específicas your question sobre qué día van a preguntar, right? Or what did you do on your last vacation, for example? The second one says, where did you go? ¿A dónde fuiste? Where did you go Monday? Where did you go today? Where did you go on your last vacation? Etc. Y, y las preguntas last de weekend. sí o no que vimos, que era, ajá, last weekend, exactly, mm -hmm. que fueran como, did you? Did you cook yesterday? Did you eat? Did you make? Que es un poco más cerrado y solo contestamos con yes, I did or no, I didn't. Vimos la forma negativa que era didn't 
Y cuando queremos hablar de actividades, recordemos que vamos a hacer cambio completo del verbo, ¿ok? Yes. Por ejemplo, what did you do yesterday? Oh, yesterday I went. I went to work early and then I went to the bank. I ate. Ok, I drank. I came to classes and I went to bed early. Ok, so utilizamos los verbos totalmente en pasado. All right. So this is our last. Eh, ¿Alguien you know, tiene alguna pregunta con pasados with simple past? ¿O les gustaría que hagamos una revisión rapidita de how to use it? ¿O estamos súper bien? Are you okay review? With ¿Review? Un review sería bueno. Sure, not a problem. So let's take a look at it. Eh, let me share my screen right here. Ok, first, hablemos un poquito de la estructura de, de cómo voy a explicar lo que yo hice. Imagine that this is my question. What did you do yesterday? Okay. So, or what did you do on your last vacation? So, lo voy a contestar de esta forma, sujeto. Uh, I'm going to use my subject. I'm going to use my verb. Pero este verbo ya tiene que ir en pasado. Puede ser regular o irregular. Okay. Y luego el complement. Okay. For example, okay. Yesterday, I, y yo quiero utilizar el verbo go, de ir. Pero yo no puedo utilizar go. Tengo que hacer el cambio a pasado. El pasado de go es? When. when. Perfect. When. Went. So yesterday I went. Yesterday I went to the bank. I went to the park. I went to work. Okay. I went to my house. I went to my friend's house, etc. I went. All right. Yesterday um, yo escuché música. I have the word listen. Listen es regular. ¿Qué significa regular? ¿Qué le voy a agregar? ¿Qué le pongo? Listening. I am ed. Ed. Ed, exactly. Ed. ed. Yesterday ed. I listened to music. Okay. I listened to music. Yesterday was Thursday. Okay. So hice ejercicio. I, y tengo el verbo hacer que es do. ¿Cuál es el pasado de do? Pueden revisar su lista. You can check your list. Yeah. Dear. Entonces ya no utilizo go, utilizo when. Ya no utilizo do, utilizo did. did. Yesterday I did exercise. Ok. Oh, yeah. Yesterday I did exercise. Ya estoy diciendo yo hice. So subject, verb, and complement. Um, ayer, you know, eh, no, déjenme pensar algo que no hice. Oh. A, ayer no desayuné, ok, no, no comí el desayuno. ¿Cómo digo? La forma negativa. La forma negativa solo es did, ahora voy a utilizar el not y hago la contracción, I didn't, ok. Yes. I didn't es yo I no. Okay. Dijimos uh -huh. ayer que no significa nada, solamente es para indicar que es negativa, ok. Y tengo I la palabra eat. I didn't eat. I didn't eat breakfast. Entonces, ¿qué pasa con los negativos? Los negativos, no puedo cambiar el verbo. En una oración positiva, lo cambio pasado. En una oración negativa, no hago el cambio a pasado del verbo. ¿Are we ok? Por ejemplo, uh, yo dije acá, I went, I went to the park. Pero imagínense que ayer no salí a ningún lado, okay, ni siquiera a la tienda, nowhere, ok. No fue a trabajar tampoco. So I didn't, I didn't went or I didn't go. ¿Cuál sería la forma correcta? What, what would you think? Go, go or went? I didn't go. go. I didn't. Go. 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 Again? Ok, one more time, one more time. One more time. Positivas, positive sentences, debo de cambiar el verbo. I changed the verbs. Negative sentences, negative sentences, no le digo el didn't, pero ya no cambio el verbo, exactly. Entonces, si yo digo acá, I didn't, I didn't eat breakfast, no puedo decir I didn't went. Voy a decir I didn't go. I didn't go anywhere. Yo no salí a ningún lado. I didn't go anywhere. Okay. I stayed home. So, esa es la idea con positivas y con negativas. All right. ¿Estamos un poco mejor? ¿Estamos bien? Sí, teacher. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. 
Very good. Perfect. Si necesitan buscar un verbo o saber cuál es el pasado, it's okay. Pueden revisar, you know, la lista de verbos que tienen or check uh, in internet, right? ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo en pasado? And it's super fine. So, vamos a crear esa conversación, repito. We are going to make it. Practice it, practice it hasta que sea un poco más fácil. And uh, les envío la invitación ahorita. I'm inviting, I'm sending you the invitation over. So, okay. uh, ahorita, there we go. So guys, create it, put it together. Tienen un par de minutitos para crearla. And cualquier cosa, remember, hay un botón que dice ayuda. Si tienen dudas, cómo armarlas, and I will be there, okay? So, let's go, everybody. You have just some minutes. Verbo, ¿verdad, teacher? Hello, Marvin. How are you? Es que estoy bien intermitente con el Inter, pero eso hay que hacer ahorita, ¿verdad? Sí, no, ahorita vamos a hacer esto. Le comparto acá la indicación. I'm going to share it here. Vamos a hacer una conversación. Pueden utilizar cualquier pregunta. Acá tienen como alguna idea, right, de las preguntas que pueden hacer. Eh, y sí, todo es en pasado. Todo ah, puede okay. ser como de ayer, un evento, anything. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ahorita. Muchas gracias. You are welcome. Ingrid, dígame. No me agregué a ningún grupo, teacher. Permítame, no me aparece acá que... Vale, deme un segundito, ahorita, ahorita le envío. Vale, lo voy a mover a este grupo. Ahorita ya le va a aparecer. Okay. Marvin creo que tampoco me aparece. Ahorita ya le va a aparecer Marvin. Dime un segundito.
thank you guys for coming back. Ya casi terminamos. We are only seven minutes away. So, espérenme un momentito because I would like to listen to some of you talking, all right? And especialmente porque tenemos esta conversación con Simple Pass that is going to be really nice. And uh, um, yes, I guess everybody's back. Yesterday, recuerdo que por ahí aclamaban, you know, they were asking for Jackie, but unfortunately no pudimos escucharla. Así que today, uh, that would be very nice if we can listen to Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Hey, hola, you teacher. Can do it, Jackie. Yes. Ay, hasta ahorita voy entrando porque tenía problemas con mi internet. La verdad, no sé qué estaban haciendo. Oh. <laughs> no oh, pay. I'm so sorry no to hear that, sí, but teacher, it's fine. Intentar ingresar no pay, hasta thank Clary thank le dije que, que, no, que no podía, que me sacaba el internet de la clase. Hasta ahorita. Póngale voy cero, bien. teacher. Póngale <laughs> cero. Ay, qué malo. No, you can qué malo. Yo sé que el clima les está afectando mucho. I know that the, the weather is affecting us a lot. Y se está cayendo, sí, así que it's necesita. just fine. Yeah, right. It's just fine. Es, es algo comprensible. Se sale de nuestras manos. But anyway, lo que sucede aquí es que la, desde ayer. Sí, sí, fibra óptica que tiene ya que en la casa. ¿Cómo le va a fallar? Ok, now Jackie, ahora que... Ahora que escuchamos a Dani, Dani, gracias. Thank you so much for volunteering. Thank you. We'll be listening to your group. Castigado. Uh, Dani, Dani. Dani. No, no, no. Gracias. Dani, Dani. Perdón, Dani. Oh, Dani, Jasmine and Brian. Ok. Gracias. No, es porque quiero que, you know, you, you practice more. <laughs> ok, ok, guys. So, let's do it. Let's do it. ¿Están listos? ¿Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. Maybe, maybe. Um, did, uh, where did you go to the last uh, vacation, Miss uh, Celia? I went to uh, Las Hojas Beach. Ah, okay. Oh. Uh, and you, Mr. Brian? I went to the Volcano y la Matepet. Oh, I, uh, did, did you play uh, soccer in the, the last week? Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Ah, okay. Very good. Uh, uh, where the where location the company? I work at in restaurant Los Ranchos. Okay. I work at in Hershaber. It is on Colonia San Francisco. San Salvador. Uh, okay. Um, Thank you guys, Danny. Very okay. nice job. Very good with questions, guys. Excellent answers. I like it a lot. Very nice and very fluent. Give me one second. Yes, we have time for just one more. Okay. So Danny's, uh, Danny, sorry. Lo, lo voy a dejar que escoja. Who is next? El último grupo. Okay. The night. Rene. Uh. <laughs> But but Rene is working. Rene, uh, the, the, were you able to participate? Pudo practicar con los compañeros? Were you able to practice? Yes, I practice. Okay, perfect, perfect. So si tiene unos minutitos, uh, that would be nice if we can listen to your participation. So I think it was Rene. Uh, con quién más estaba? Who was in your group? Uh, Ingrid, in the, Ignacio, and Giovanni, right? Okay, guys, so if you are ready, let's get started. Rene estuvo practicando más que todo con Ignacio porque yo estaba teniendo problemas de audio, teacher. Okay, not a problem, that's fine. Yo, ahorita so puedes apagar la, la cámara porque no escucho bien lo que están diciendo. Okay, 
Uh, yes, miss. No worries. Uh, I understand. Uh, Ignacio, what did you do Ignacio yesterday? Ignacio, you're mute. Ignacio, you're mute. Sorry. Uh, okay, there you go. Yesterday, I went to work in the Nuevo Tepetitan, you uh, know, and uh, we have a, a, a job in the and uh, this uh, this town need needed too much water, and um, I I return I return my my home at the two a.m. and uh, all the my my family is sleeping, and uh, only my dog <laughs> is uh, is happy. For we uh, for my um, return in, in, in home. Um, where did you go on, on uh, the last uh, Friday? Sorry. Friday, the last Friday, I okay. worked at the night, and then I went with my with some friend to. To, to drink a, a beer. Then I, I came to my home at 11 p.m. And I, I, that's it. All right. Amazing, guys. That was very nice. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Super clear, easy to understand. So very good job. Okay, guys, give me just one second. Let me go and let me check they the final attendance of today unfortunately you know ya terminamos we it's about time uh, but you are doing a very good job you know i'm super impressed con el manejo de pasados lo fácil que ha sido para ustedes you know manejarlo use it so uh, i you know i'm just looking forward to hearing you more and uh, intentemos practicar el fin de semana tomen un par de verbos y practiquen present past present past para hacerlo más fácil Solo me regala yes. confirmación verbal, please. Estamos yes. por acá. Eh, Danis, me hacía falta en el control. So I was yes. missing Danis. Present. Thank you. I was missing Daisy. Thank you. I was missing, let me see, Rene, pero Rene ya está por acá. Rene is here. Yo. And Ayansi también. Ayansi is back. Present. Brian, sí, ya lo había escuchado, Brian. I got you already. Ya le había tomado asistencia. Ángel. Thanks. I don't know if Ángel, I didn't see him. Eh, Carlos Alberto. So, Carlos, que estuvo por ahí. All right, thank you. And Marvin. So, Marvin vino hace unos minutitos as well. So, we got ya. Okay, guys. So, amazing. Super asistencia. Mil gracias por estar con nosotros. This, casi la segunda semana. All right. Eh, nos yes. vemos el día lunes. I will be seeing you on Monday. Les quiero pedir ayuda con la plataforma. No eh, dejen que se las acumule, please, porque después va a ser más difícil. So, si pueden terminar hasta el examen, hasta el midterm, that would be amazing. Así ya no se les queda acumulado para la próxima semana. Right si pueden avanzar, I mean, eh, up to tomorrow, mañana a las 10 de la mañana, eh, Puedo esperar hasta la una de la tarde mañana. And that's okay. So, si me pueden ayudar. Si no okay. pueden ahorita, por ya es tarde. Mañana, that would be amazing. But tomorrow please, midnight. intentemos hacerlo tomorrow. Una de la tarde. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you, bye. See you, guys. Eh, solamente, no sé si está por acá. Eh, tengo one on one con Natalie. Si me ayuda, Natalie. Bueno, si no, ya le escribo. See you, guys. I'll be seeing you. See you, Happy Monday. Wow, very good. Teacher. Yes. Me pasó lista. Me dio un Sí, sí pero sí uh, la tomé lista. I thank you, you, teacher. No Ahorita worries. agarramos camino. Bye, bye. <risa> bye. Un par de reyes. Un par de reyes. Bye. 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 <risa> bye. Bye, bye. Ok. Give me one second. Solo voy a poner a estos chicos en otro lugar. Ok, ahí está. Hoy oh, sí, hello Miss, how are you? Mm. 
Miss, está en mute. <ríe> Sorry, solo veo your lips moving. Ah, but, uh, pero, siento. pero pensé que... Uh, no, no worries, no worries. That's okay. How are you? Um, I'm fine. But um, I, I talk about... Yo, yo pues estaba pensando en abandonar el proyecto, por eso es que estaba irregular estos, estos días. Oh. Porque sí estaba pensando como en, en abandonar, pero ya, ya me convencieron de que, de que siga, pues lo siento. Ah, all right. No, no worries. I was worried porque, porque sí, el módulo anterior fue bastante con, con, eh, consistente, you ¿no? Know? En Sadeli, eh, sí, por, de repente la... La perdimos. We missed you there. Pero, pero sí, Miss, I'm, I'm happy you're back. Y pues, les espero todos los días, you know, super early here. La verdad es que está haciendo un muy buen trabajo, you know, está mejorando bastante. Ahorita ya iniciamos con temas un poquito más complicated, you know, donde okay. es, we can definitely, um, de hecho, empezamos ya como a hablar un poco más, you know, and, and I think that's just fine. So, sí lo escuché bastante callada today, but, but I guess es lo mismo, you know, you're just coming back and uh, you're getting used to the topics and everything. Pero espero que todo esté bien. I just hope everything is fine. Sí, sí, todo, todo bien. Lo único es que sí me estaba como aburriendo porque no, no, no sentía, ahorita sí, pues con el nuevo tema, pero no sentía que llegáramos al punto donde yo no... No, no supiera, me, me, no sé si me entiende. Lo que sucede Entonces, es que los temas ya los manejabas, o de topics que estábamos mm -hmm. viendo es algo que usted ya, ya lo sabía, you know. I totally understand that part. Yes, I know, I know. I know the feeling. <laughs> que mm -hmm. que sé, I know the feeling that, oh, eso ya lo sé, you know. I already know this. But eh, this is the point, exactly. Um, up to this point, empezamos ya a ver eh, temas un poquito más Tal vez no más complicados, pero temas ya en uso, you know. Sí. Simple Past es un tema súper useful eh, y es como más, más retador también, en el sentido que involucra más vocabulario, memorizar más cosas, and, and yeah. So, I'm glad you're here, eh, and I'm glad que ya le parezca, you know, eh, uh -huh. that, that you can move forward, que, que puede, you know, avanzar un poquito más up to this point. So, sí, ya con, ajá, ya con esto yo siento que ya, ya voy un poquito como a nivel. Mm -hmm. No, a I nivel. understand. I understand. No worries. So, com, how do you feel this topic? Because I didn't see you yesterday. Yesterday was the introduction, pero no sé cómo se siente con Simple Past. Uh, did, eh, did you grasp it? Eh, lo complicado, ya lo entendí, pero el, el hecho de no haber memorizado todito los verbos es el complicante, mm -hmm. pero ya entendí cómo va. Ajá, okay. pero si eso me costaba, no sabía decirlo, siempre todo lo decía en presente. Oh, ok, got it. Mm, ahí les compartí una lista de verbos y algunos compañeros la, también la, la replicaron en el grupo que okay. tenemos. So, you can check it. No es necesario que se los aprenda todos. It's not mandatory. Pero con 30 verbos que manejemos, those are irregular verbs. Con 30 verbos que manejemos, you can make it, you know, los más útiles. I would recommend you to go over the most useful verbs. Um, uh -huh. Ayer vimos también verbos regulares y vimos la pronunciación. So me gustaría tomarme unos minutos eh, para explicarle y que para, para, para que practiquemos pronunciación uh -huh. de regular verbs. If that is okay with you. So le comparto mi pantalla. I'm going to be sharing my screen. Eh, in English, los regular verbs. Eh, ahora ya no, no lo revisamos, you know, because... Eh, era un tema que estaba, que lo habíamos como tocado más o menos ayer, but I would really like to, to take the time right now. So, for example, eh, no hay forma de saber si un verbo es regular o irregular. La única forma es memorizándolos, you know, that's the only way. So, tenemos que tener como una idea general si es regular o irregular. So, in English, we have some of the verbs. Uh, apologize. Okay. Want, need. Okay, let me add just a couple of verbs so we can practice a little bit. Visit, travel. Um, let me try to remember some. Okay, fixed. All right. 
So in English, todos los verbos que están acá, they are considered regular verbs. That means that we are going to add ed al pasado de ellos. So I have dance. Okay, I have all of these. Como ya termina con D, no necesito duplicarle. Solamente le agrego la D. Eh, esto sí, you know. Uh -huh. Y pretty much lo que vamos haciendo es agregándole ED para hacerlo pasado. Y uh -huh. esto es todo. Estos ya son pasados. So regular verbs es, no es como que me los tenga que memorizar, sino tener la idea que si es regular, solo esto le voy a agregar. All right? Lo más difícil es la parte de pronunciación. Because in pronunciation, hay tres tipos de pronunciación. Okay, we have, let me add another here. Okay, we have this sound, okay, that is at. We have this sound, that is the. And we have this sound, that is it. All right, pero no todos se pronuncian de la misma forma. For example, I have dance, pero no lo puedo decir dance. We cannot do it, okay? So, hay una forma de saberlo. For example, Cuando tengo este verbo y al finalizar termina con un sonido de tss, uh -huh. sin vibración, no vibra el sonido, entonces yo le voy a agregar un sonido de la T en vez de esto de acá. So yo digo dance y yeah. ahora la T. Dance. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So when you say yo baile, I dance. Like t. Ok. Uh -huh. So repeat with me. Dance. Dance. Y agrégueme la T. Dance. Dance. Exactly, exactly. Very nice. I have watch. Okay. Again, watch. Es un sonido de shh. Sí. Entonces le agrego una T. Okay. I watched. Watched. I watched. Watch. Like normal. Uh -huh. Watch. And now watched. I, I watched. Watch. I watched TV. <laughs> <laughs> it I sounds watched. a little, yeah, it sounds kind of weird, but yes. Okay. Now, I have this one, that is delete, all right? Now, ¿qué sucede con este delete? Todos los verbos que terminan con D o con T al inicio, vamos a agregarle una sílaba más. So, I have delete. Le voy a agregar delete. un sonido más. Deleted. 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 Delete, deleted. Uh -huh. So, en otras palabras, tengo delete, dos sílabas. Lo voy a hacer tres ahora. Deleted. 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 Uh -huh. I have erased. Erase. Si usted se toca la garganta y dice erase y le pone atención al sonido final, ok, erase, este sonido como que vibra un poquito, right? Uh -huh. Entonces el sonido del pasado es erased. A los sonidos erased. que vibran al final, los cambiamos a the. Uh -huh. Again, we have apologize. So, apologize. Ap ap Apologize. Apologize. Vibra también. Apo apologize. Uh -huh. Ahora, uh, haga lo que vibre. Agrega que, haga, eh, agregue la vibración acá. A apologize. Apologize. Ok. Apologize. 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 <ríe> Como apologize. una abeja. Ok. Entonces, again, el, el sonido vibra. Entonces, el pasado es apologized. 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 Exactly. Apologized. Le vamos a agregar ese D. Ok. Now we have want. Pero want termina want. con T. Entonces le agrego id completo. Wanted. Uh -huh. Wanted. Need termina want. con D. Entonces agrego una sílaba Wanted. más. Needed. I needed. Yesterday necesité hablar con un tío, you know. I needed to talk to you. I needed to complete a report. I needed. Okay. Clean. Clean. Si usted se toca la garganta, clean. clean va a sentir clean. que un poco de vibración acá. Entonces, clean. el pasado es cleaned. Cleaned. Okay. Again, tenemos clear. Clear. Y si se toca la garganta, es siente. Ok. So, el pasado es cleared. Cleared. Exactly. We have visit, pero termina con T. Entonces visit. le agrego otra más. Visited. I visited. On my last vacation, I visited my mom. I visited my mother's house. I visited. visited. Mm -hmm. So I visited or I visited. And that's okay. Visited. Mm -hmm. Travel. 
you know, travel, el último sonido es uh, ok, entonces le agregamos una vez, I traveled, I traveled, yo viajé, traveled. Okay. I traveled, I traveled, I traveled, y la última que tenemos es fix, otra vez el sonido de x, entonces le agregamos una t, fix, fix, mm -hmm. so, repite conmigo, please, danced, eh, en presente, eh, no. En pasado, dance. Uh -huh. Dance. Watched. Watched. Deleted. Deleted. Erased. Erased. Apologized. Apologized. Wanted. Wanted. Needed. Needed. Cleaned. Cleaned. Cleared. Cleared. Visitor. Visitor. Traveled. Traveled. Fixed. Fixed. Perfect. Okay, very nice. You got it. Exactly. So the, the only thing with regular verbs is esto. Eh, no cambia tanto el pasado o la forma del verbo, sino lo que cambia es la forma de pronunciarlo, you know. And uh, pretty much that was just an FYI. Tenemos una tarea en la plataforma. La tarea, eh, si usted se va a discusiones, la va a encontrar. Dice speaking homework number one. Y de hecho dice, eh, what did you do yesterday? Entonces vamos a grabar un pequeño audio eh, diciendo lo que ustedes hicieron el día de ayer. Mm -hmm. Y solamente me comparte el link de su audio. Lo puede subir a Drive y me comparte el link para hacerlo más fácil. No sé si ya, ya lo vio. I don't know if you saw it. Sí, lo que estaba tratando de averiguar es cómo, cómo hacer eso de Drive. Pero nos estaba explicando una compañera, ah. voy a intentar hacer. ¿Tiene Gmail? Sí. ¿Utiliza Gmail como cuenta? Ok, eh, so, sí. si usted, permítame, solo voy. Uh -huh. Si tiene, déjeme ver si les puedo compartir como un super short eh, tutorial para subirlo, para you know, evitar. O si tiene, Estoy... si, dígame. Estoy en discusión. Y dice todas las discusiones. Sí, dele clic en todas las discusiones. Uh, speaking Le va homework. a aparecer. Speaking homework. Exactly. Exactly. Esa es. Ah, oh, okay. ok. 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 Perfecto. Cualquier duda, let me know. And, you know, para poder eh, guiarla en el proceso. All right. So, gracias, Bye. Natalie. Gracias por su tiempo. Me alegra mucho que ya esté back. Ok, y pues <risa> espero que logremos terminar el, el módulo. I really want you to finish. Así que le espero, Miss. I really hope you know, for. So, nos vemos mañana. No, nos vemos el lunes. Okay. <risa> Sleep well. Um, bye bye. See you on Monday. Um, bye bye.